All right, so this uh, video we'll be talking about arithmetic series, um, which are going to just basically mean the sum of the terms in a sequence. So we're going to kind of build a formula on how to get that and show a couple examples. Okay. So um, first off, let's jump to here. Basically, the difference between, again, a sequence, which is usually studied first. A sequence is just a pattern or an ordered set of terms. Um, and a sub n is the notation just to represent the nth term. Um, of a sequence. So the difference again now, a series is going to be, like we said, the sum of the terms, okay, the sum of the first um, n terms. So we're going to use s sub n as the notation to represent that, okay? So we could get the sum of the first seven terms, some of the first 50 terms um, by doing s of different n values, okay? So let's talk about how to do that, where the formula is, and kind of why it works. Okay, so first off, let's get this out here. So let's say here's a, an example. We give a given sequence. Let's find each of the following. So <clears throat> the sequence we can see is 4, 6, 8, and so it, it appears to be a common pattern of uh, adding 2 each time. So that does make it a, an arithmetic sequence um, with a common difference of 2. Okay, so part A here, A sub 2, that just means... Um, a specific term in the sequence. So a sub 2, okay, if we remember the first term is a sub 1, then a sub 2, then a sub 3. So a sub 2 is just the term, the value of the second term is 6. Okay, so that's that's just a sequence. Now, question B here, s sub 2, so that's going to, again, mean the sum of the first two terms. Okay, so we shouldn't really need any formula really for that. It's literally just adding up the first two terms together. So the a1 plus a2 is 4 plus 6, which is equals 10. Okay. Um, so that's just the sum of the first two terms. Okay. Um, a sub 50. Okay. If this, this sequence were to continue, you know, eventually there would be some 50th term out there. Um, and the issue is what what is its value? That's what a sub 50 is asking us for. So Again, just imagine the sequence kept going. There would be a 50th term out there. And to find that, we're just using the um, explicit formula for the sequence. Okay, yeah, so the formula again for any a sub n is always the first term. Just think about the pattern. You're starting with the first term, you're adding some common difference, n minus 1 times. Okay, so for a sub 50, that would just uh, mean we're starting with 4. We are adding 2, um, 50 minus 1, or 49 times. And uh, that value should end up being 102. Okay, so that would be the 50th term out here in the sequence if we kept going. Um, that's just a, a specific term, again, of the sequence. Okay, now part D... This is going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, we need the sum of the first 50 terms. Okay, so you have some options. Okay, one's not a very good option, but you could actually just list the first 50 terms and add them all up. Okay, and that would get us the answer we need. Um, but that would involve a lot of work, and uh, again, if if it was the sum of the first thousand terms or something, it's kind of almost impossible to list that many terms and add them up. So let's come back to that. Let's let's build a formula. There is actually a formula to help us find that answer. Okay. So in order to think about how that works, I want to think about kind of a, a classic example um, where we're, let's say we want to um, find an easier way again. And the the example I want to use this is a classic problem from an old mathematician. Uh, Gauss, who supposedly was asked to do this as a student back in school, and he came up with this nifty way to do it or whatever, and then his teachers were all stunned by how smart he was and everything. But here's kind of how it works. Let's say we want the sum of the first 100 integers. So the sequence would be like 1, um, 2, 3, 4. And since we want the sum, we're obviously going to add those all up. Okay, and I'm just going to put a few more down here. Let's say we have 97, 98. Um, 99 and 100, okay? And we need the sum of all those, right? So, again, the, the long way would be to just add them all up. Um, but what Gauss realized, his little pattern was that there is something going on with 
thinking about it this way. Think about the first term plus the last term. Okay, that's going to be 1 plus 100 is 101. Okay, then the second term plus the second to last term is another 101. Okay, the third term plus the third to last term is also 101. So he's really viewing this sum as just a bunch of 101s. Okay, so the question is, how many 101s are there? So Gauss realized, again, if, you're, if you have 100 terms and you're pairing them up, there should be 50 pairs. So he's basically saying that the sum, there are 50 pairs and each pair is 101. Okay, again, the 101 is coming from 1 plus 100, 2 plus 99 is 101, 3 plus 98 is 101, and that would just continue. The 4 plus the 97 would be another 101. So it's really just a, um, 50 101s. And if you do 50 times 101, you're going to get the answer to this sum is 5,050. Okay, so what he realized was the formula to get the sum of the terms here, the first n terms, it will always be, so this 50, again, remember we had 100 terms, we divided that by 2, so it's always going to be n over 2. And then the 101 came from adding the first term to the last term, or the nth term. Okay, so we're going to use this as our little formula to get the sum of the terms, as long as the sequence is arithmetic, this formula will get you the sum of the terms. Okay, so let's do a couple examples. Um, I guess that formula could just be written right down here. I had a space for it and I forgot. So, so that's going to be our formula. Okay, so let's go back and uh, use it. Okay, so in that previous problem, let's go back a page. We needed the sum of the first 50 terms. Okay, and we showed that, we just saw that the formula of the first 50 terms will be n over 2, so 50 over 2 times the first term plus the 50th term. Okay, so I think we know the first term. Okay, we just need to find the 50th term, and that's actually what I had you guys do in part C, um, but sometimes you might have to do the, the calculation to get this value, but we know that is really just the 102, okay, and we know A1 just by looking at the sequence, so let's let's fill in some values. It's, it's going to be 50 over 2, which again is just 25, so you'll have 25 pairs. The first term in the sequence given was 4, the 50th term we found previously to be 102, okay, so this thing should add up and get us a final sum of, uh, if you calculate that, 2650, 2650. So that would be the value of adding up the first 50 terms of the given sequence. Okay. All right, let's set up another example. <clears throat> okay, let's say we have this sequence. And we want to find, again, S sub 50. Um, some of the first 50 terms of 3, 7, 11, dot, dot, dot. Okay. So again, so our sum formula for arithmetic is always n over 2 times a1 plus a n. So let's see which one we know and what we need. Okay. So we want the sum of the first 50 terms. So that's going to be our n. That's how many terms we want to add up. Okay. So I know n is 50. So 50 over 2. Okay. A1, we know A1 is just the first term. Now, AN, though, we need, we need the 50th term. Okay, we don't know that yet, but we know how to find it. Okay, the 50th term, right, again, if this sequence kept going, the 50th term out here can be found by just doing the explicit formula, which is um, first term plus the common difference in this case is 4 times n minus 1. Okay, so we're just finding a specific term again. Um, that ends up being, I think, did I not write this down? 49? No. A sub 50. Now let's just calculate it. Sorry, it's 3 plus 4 times 49. 
So let's get a value for that. 3 plus 4 times 49. It's giving me a value of 199. Okay. So I know the 50th term is 199. Right, and now we should be able to calculate this out. 25 times 3 plus 199 is 202. And 202 times 25 gets me my final answer for a sum of 5,050. Okay, and again, the reason that that formula is working is because um, we would have all these pairs. When you're adding these up, 3 plus 199 is 202. Okay. Then 7 plus the term before it would be another 202. 11 plus the term before it would be another 202. And we would basically have 25 pairs of uh, 202. So that's why we're doing 25 times 202. So that's kind of why it works. Um, that is the uh, arithmetic formula to uh, find the sum of the terms. All right.